Hello friends, great to see you. My name is Jonas and I'm here to introduce you to some very friendly robots. Now, first of all, please observe that the word art actually features in artificial intelligence. I'm sure there is a joke here and I, that I just can't see right now, but I'll let you think about it as I briefly run through our experience with machine learning. Now, one year ago, we launched the SMK online collection called SMK Open. And uh, thanks to everybody who has dropped by over this last year. As you can imagine, so much of the work goes on behind the scenes and you don't get credit for it. So it's great to actually do this today. One very important thing we've done is to stick our necks out a little bit. In its 125 years of existence, SMK has not gotten around to working with descriptive keywords for artworks. Zero. There's a ton of fascinating organizational reasons for why this is. But it's also just very expensive, time consuming and surprisingly controversial. A taxonomy isn't neutral, et cetera, et cetera. You know all this. What do we have here? Is it an angel? Is it a winged creature? Is it a mythological figure? Is it an example of superstition? It's just damn tricky and you're just afraid to get it wrong. And so sometimes you do nothing. The problem, of course, falls on regular, normal people. If you haven't studied art history, how are you going to navigate or explore a large art collection? You really need those descriptive nouns. And so in the SMK Open team, we took the liberty of sending every artwork photo we could get our hands on to a cloud-based image recognition service. And this service kindly dissects every image looking for objects in its enormous database. It's a dog, it's a flower, it's a tree, and so on. But we want more keywords. So we look up the hypernomic structure of those keywords from the cloud. So a pigeon is a bird and a bird is an animal. We include those as well, building our large keyword empire. We then translate these English terms into Danish. So bird becomes fool and so on. But we want more. Just to mention one more technique, we also look up the artwork in Wikidata and pull down keywords added by human editors from there. You get the idea. We do a lot of things to let clever machines or humans help us describe and thereby connect the art. Here's what happens when our friendly museum photographers add a new photo to the system. A number of processes start up automatically, enriching the information in our database. And it works. We actually do get lots of keywords. And there are a thousand footnotes here, but as a general principle, the more keywords, the better. And so everything is solved and our job is done. Not exactly. There are devils in the details and unfortunately, no lunch is entirely free, even those with robots. Let's take an example. How about Jesus? So we ship this scene to Microsoft Vision and what do we get back? Toddler. Now toddler is correct, but then a robot translates the term and we get boksetrol in Danish. And boksetrol is a very informal term for small child that corresponds to something more like rock rat. And honestly, rock rat is a slightly familiar way of describing the Messiah. And we have lots of paintings of the Messiah. Another problem is paintings of cliff sites, rock formations. The machine sees rock, and this gets translated not to say klippe in Danish, but into the Danish term for rock music. And if you add hyponyms from that starting point, it gets pretty wrong. Another issue is, um, you know, abstraction. 
The service is trained on photos. What's in this drawing? That may be hard for a machine to tell. And so the more abstract and the more modern, the lower the number and quality of the keywords. But while these are entirely important drawbacks and dissertations should surely be written about them, on the whole, I think we have contributed very significantly to making SMK's collection more accessible and more democratic. We thank our robot friends, and we really do recommend letting them do as much of the work as possible so we humans can take care of the really hard and perhaps more meaningful work. So much to do. Thank you. Have a great conference, and I hope to see all of you very soon.